everyone, it's Lizzie from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to open something that I bought at Michael's. Now there's a story back to this. So I was at Staples. Now, I don't know if there's a Staples in the US. Maybe there is, I don't know. <clears throat> but I saw a Happy Planner there. And I'm like, oh, I really want to get back into the Happy Planners. So when I went out to the car, Mrs. was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, oh, get me a $50 card for Staples. So she did. And then I went into London. And I'm like, well, I really want to go check out the Happy Planners. But he didn't go to the one that I was at before. He went to a new one. And while I was there, I looked and I'm like, oh, they're only 12 months. I don't really like that. But hey, I have the money. So let's just buy it. So I bought it and then I left the store and I'm like, oh, Michael's is just like two doors down from the Staples where I was at. So I went to Michael's and then hole and below there was a 60% off sale for Happy Planners. And I'm like so sad and there was uh, way better ones there than there was at Staples. So I get to the car and I'm like, oh, I'm really bummed out because... Michael has it and then we're starting to drive he's like well let's turn back go take the one back from Staples put the money back on your gift card and then just go buy the 60% off one at Michael's so that's what I did so I went back to Michael's and I ended up getting this one now it wasn't really very much selection but it is an 18 month one and that's what I wanted the other one was only 12 so um i ended up getting this happy planner um and it was oh two bills inside the bag what is what did you do with the bag so i got a really good deal on it and that's why i went back to michael's because um i got 30 percent off any one regular price item so I got what no that's for something else that expires oh well, it's already expires so that's no good <laughs> so it says he, I saved so it was regular $34.99 which <clears throat> at Staples they were I'm pretty sure they were $39.99, so they're even more at Staples, and they weren't as long as months as this one. And um, so I saved $20.99, so it, the total came out to $15.82. Like, that was a super bargain to the $45 I put on my gift card at michael's so i got my money back on michael so i still have 50 dollars on that gift card that i have not used yet and i ended up getting the one from michael's now i don't know why this is like coming off but i'm just gonna cut it with my handy dandy scissors oh oh i didn't mean to do that <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna cut that out or not blooper it's blooper time now, my daughter does have the machine to do these perforated pages, so if I ever need to do that, I can. Now, this is a vertical one, not my favorite. Before I had the horizontal, I liked it a lot more for decorating purposes. I'm not sure how I'm gonna decorate this one. Um, so it kind of makes me a little bit sad, because you know me, I love my washi tape and I'm going to go through with my washi tape in a minute and uh, yeah you can get you can personalize get inserts this and that I think I have some inserts in my last one that I think my daughter took it though she probably stole my inserts I'm not even gonna lie because she wanted my rings because she ended up leaving her bag out in the rain and her planner got totally ruined um so she ended up stealing mine because she prints out her pages and you can do that you can go on etsy and get people to print out pages for you and look at it says hello this is happy planner belongs to moi 
I will fill that out after. So obviously July and August are a by cost for me because I could have done this a little bit earlier and started it, but I did not. So basically I got to go to September. So September, learn and grow because you know September is all about um Uh, school school starts in September so this is my two pages how does this work no that's the full calendar so this one I'm probably going to put all the lists of um, what I'm going to be working on in the month diamond painting related um this is also going to be a planner uh, for my everyday life too so i'm just going to show you guys how i'm going to start decorating my planner but not necessarily um how do i say it not necessarily showing you all the details of what i'm going to do week per week so this is obviously this week to the 10th which is almost over so should I start the following week and start the 11th I'll probably fill these ones out too because I could still do some stuff up for this month as well so what is it I need to take these three pages out I could start this one too because it's the following week That'd be way too many pages to do in one day. But um, I'll do this one with you guys on Sunday. I'll film it. So I'll just do this week, even though we're halfway through the week already. And my main calendar. I like these little flowers on the edge of the pages. Super cute. Okay. I don't like this style, but maybe I can make it work. Maybe I can make it work. And I'm just going to put this off to the side while I work. Now, Happy Planner also sells stickers, and this is some of my sticker collection. I think I have more down in the basement that I got from Crazy Bins. It just happened that Crazy Bins had a whole bunch of stuff from Happy Planner, and boy, did I like go mad on it, and I grabbed a whole bunch. I don't think I have any in here. This is another Happy Planner one that, as you can see, I well use my stickers. This might be one that was brand new. Or did I use this one already? This might have been one of the brand new ones that it looks like that. That I got from there. This one, I like this one a lot. It's the black and white one. I have used quite a bit of stuff in this one already. And I do love my floral one, which I have used lots already in this book too. Um... This one, I've used a whole bunch of stuff in this one as well. I need more of these, but these are super expensive, so I should have got more on the sale as well, but I didn't, and I'm pretty sure the sale is probably done now. And here's another one. Doesn't look I've used much on this one at all. And, um... This one, I've used quite a bit out of this one as well. That's one of my older ones. This one don't seem to have used much in this one, so I might 
try to use that. I do have a Disney one. Did I pull the Disney one out already? Yeah, this is my Disney one. I really like my Disney one. So I might maybe put a sticker of Disney. I like to usually do themes. So um, let's do this positivity. I think that was one that I got from, honestly, from Crazy Bins. Um, so I'm going to try to use some of those in those ones. This September, and what are we doing in September? Calendar. I've never decorated these ones, but maybe I will this time. So this is all my washi tape. I got quite a bit of it. Maybe I should do bees for September because the bees are crazy right now. So maybe I'll do these bees. I got it from my collab with J-Rob, two washi tapes, super cute. Um, haven't it taken them out of the paper. So I have those. This is all the, oh, and I got a bad hair tie in here. You don't want to look at that. This is all my mismatched washi tape that I don't have room for it anywhere. So that's what's here. I might use these. So I'm gonna put it off to the side, I don't know. So I have extras there. I have this container that is pretty full. I could probably put more there from that box. It was $8.99 at Hobby Lobby. I do wanna get more because as you can see, I'm pretty full. I like these ones for sceneries instead of uh doing like um stickers i have this one full of stickers that i got from T from timu um they're kind of cute not very not very thick but it's always good for planning instead of diamond painting so I have that one, and then I have this one that I got from, I think, was it Global? Global Land, the diamond painting place. And they're just little rolls as well, but they're cutesy. And they will be good for my journal experience. So washi tape is not just only for diamond painting. A lot of people use it for their journaling and other things as well. So that is all my washi tape collection. People probably have way more than me. Um, but for the September big calendar, I am going to use the bees. The bees. Now, last time I tried to do scissors, but they were I was always going crooked so I think I am going to I don't know how I'm going to decorate this to be honest I'm just going to use the bees So, let me know in the comments below if any of you do journals or have a happy planner, but are quite not sure how you're going to make them work for you. Um, I honestly should just go over the page like that. I was using an X-Acto knife before, but I'm always scared I'm gonna cut through the paper, you know? Oh. That's my biggest fear. I know I got refills for this from Susan, but do you think I could find my refills for this? 
and I cleaned out my drawers. Maybe it's in one of my junk baskets. Or it could be in that big one that has all the drills that I haven't gone through yet. Uh, and then I maybe use this one. I think I should just keep this out instead of the scissors. I should put my thing that Susan gave me underneath. My desk, because I don't want to cut my desk. That would be tragic. That would be tragic, wouldn't it? Something like that. Maybe I'll do a whole bunch of bees going along the top as well. For September. Well, it's kind of too big and you can't see it. So that's not good. Uh, maybe I can go along the top here because those days are pretty much a write-off. No, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe that's all the washi tape I'll use on the front page. It doesn't, see this is why I don't like vertical. It doesn't give me much options. Like I could do a line down here underneath each each uh, day you know but then there's not a whole lot of writing you can do on each day if I do this now is there if I do it like that I don't know call me crazy this is um, by no means am I an expert, <laughs> uh, so don't think I am because I am not. This is just a girl, a chick in a craft room. Um, trying to do a happy planner. Let's see, I'm so scared to cut through the paper that I'm not cutting it. Um, like bzz, bzz. it's kind of neat I kind of like that I think I'm gonna keep it I think I'm gonna keep it um, this is the time of year that I can't stand is it wasps I don't know but they're terrible in Canada Ugh, at this time of year they're like all over you. It's super flippin' annoying. National Grandparents Day on Sunday. I better get a gift, Luna. <laughs> I better get a post on Facebook. I won't. My daughter doesn't post anything. My daughter is not the most affectionate child in the world. I think they switched her at birth. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I am not going to lie. I think I went too far down. You know, I could go over their letters and then just number them myself, but where the heck is Do you guys have another holiday coming up? Because we don't have a holiday next week. I 
I could put stickers here. I wish I had bumblebees, but I don't. Because that would be cute. Right? I should have just went all the way across with that one and all the way across with that one on the top. Duh, Liz, what were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. That's the thing. I think I'm just going to do this one with you guys. Then maybe I'll turn off the camera and I'll do my weekly one and then you guys can see. And I'll write some stuff on these ones so you guys can see. I'm probably going to put on here my days off and the days I work. I never can remember. Like, if someone's like, when I call for an appointment, they're like, oh, are you, can, are you available this day? I have to look, like, I have a calendar right here by my desk, my work calendar schedule. And hopefully I get one for next year as well, because it's really helped me this year, even though I know my schedule pattern. But when it comes to appointments and people call me like, are you available on such and such day? Looking at that calendar really helps me figure out if I am or not. So you know what, I think, see this is the thing about what I love about washi tape. Usually you can peel them just right off like that. And I think I'm gonna go right across with this one as well. I think it will look better, see? There is always, um, there is always room for improvement, don't you know? It's like the bees are trying to get the flowers there on the side. Um, yeah. Awesome sauce. I like the bees, even though I am highly allergic to bees, but that's okay. Um, I hope you guys get a planner and then go on my Facebook group and post what your planner looks like. Maybe I'll start doing those posts. What's your planner look like for September? Do any of you guys do this craziness with me? You know? I was in a chat room for planners, but I haven't been doing anything. They probably kicked me out. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and then this one I can go, I can do the same thing up here, even though it's so close together, but this is what I'm gonna do. It might look stupid, but I don't care. I don't care. Yep. And I will do Sunday I'll do next week's to try to have it up for you on Monday. It's so hard because I like to use my desk and when I have a diamond painting on my desk it's like ugh I gotta move my desk but maybe I can find something to cover the diamond painting. I have that old blue thing I might just put that on top of the diamond painting and do my planner with you guys look at the tape. The washi tape is starting to come up, which shouldn't be. That's where I did the mistake. So, on that one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use any of the books for the main planner, the main month thing. And yeah, 
Yeah, I think this is looking really, really cool. I might put project sticker here. Well, I'll have to look in this one and see what they have. My diamond painting projects for the month of September. And if I get more, if I start another one, then I can add to it, you know. You can always add to your planners. Just because you started and you write stuff doesn't mean that's the all end to that month or week. I know we're a little short on that one. I am really liking this. I like artsy crafty things. And then my daughter, Alyssa says, oh, mom, you don't really like artsy crafty things. But obviously, she's never watched one of my planner videos. Because <laughs> I do like decorating. But the last planner, I only used it for uh, my YouTube channel. The last two, because I tried uh, dot journaling and I'm not very artsy creative that way. I tried. Sometimes I did a good one. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this looks amateur -y. And uh, I stopped. But yeah. I just do these videos where I'm decorating it to give you guys some ideas of what you can do. And um, pretty much all my ideas are pretty much the same. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, because, like, my daughter has a planner, but she's not into, like, put stickers in it, do this, do that, blah, 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 like I am. She's just into it for to write in it. Okay, so I'm done with this page. I will be back um, when I do the other page and maybe add some things onto this one and I'll come back and review it with you guys. Okay, um, bye, my computer's on, so there's more noise in the background. I think Luna's up too, so I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as I can. Um, <laughs> I always say it's not gonna be about all about diamond painting, but pretty much my life is worked around diamond painting. <laughs> um, <coughs> and this channel, I don't know. So anyway, I put the days I'm off, the days I work. I don't work a lot. Um, up here, cause of the Labor Day weekend and then I took two days off for the wedding um, and then I have Monday Tuesday off so I have like another four day weekend so that's nice but I do work Friday so I have to go to work tomorrow but um yeah I like the way I did this one now here I have the diamond paintings that I have on my list and check mark when I'm done and as you can see <gasps> the capture by radiance is complete and that will be coming up soon too on a post review and um yeah that is what the month of september work wise goes for me i have to work only one weekend and that is the weekend of the 22nd to the 24th but i i am going live now 8 p.m. on Sundays, every Sunday. So this is what I decided to do for this week. My mainly, oh, I forgot to, I like to pencil in what I'm gonna write and then go over it with marker in case I make a mistake, cause you know me, I can't say anything right. I can't, I thought I erased it all, but looks like I did. I wanted to use it. I just wrote it by freehand here which probably looks better than tracing, but anyway. So, I finished my Capture by Radiance. So I should say finished, but 
I have Drills and Chills, and I have Craft Room Fiasco. So those are the three diamond paintings that I am working on. Down here, I'm going to put my bills for the week because I have to pay two bills um, this week. And uh, I don't, you guys don't need to know about my bills. <laughs> so that's why I haven't wrote it in yet. Um, I have the wedding on Saturday, but I think I can work on some Drills and Chills until the wedding. The wedding's only till one o'clock in the afternoon and then the evening. So I'll have the morning that I can work on my drills and chills. I'm going to start it today because as you can see, I finished my capture by radiance. So I'm going to start my drills and chills and see how much I can get done before moving back to a uh, craft room fiasco and see how many finishes I can get in one month. So yeah, that is it. I put a few stickers. I felt like a little bit of like Paris theme and Hollywood, <laughs> Paris and Hollywood kind of go together. I don't know, but I wanted to do a black and white theme, even though I said I wasn't going to, but I ended up using my black and white book because I really do love doing stuff in black and white. So I thought that's what I do for my first week of my bullet journal, bullet journal, happy planner. And then next week I will pick something else out and I will do that on Sunday so you guys can have it on Monday. I'm going to try to post them on Mondays. I'm thinking about maybe bringing back um, mystery diamond painting. I do have one in my stash that Susan did for me that I haven't started and she's probably sad that I haven't done it. But then after that, I think I'm going to start buying the ones that are already pre-mystery. The one that Susan did is from, I think it's from Every Moment, so it's not a pre-mystery, but it is, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure she checked it before she bought it. Um, so I don't know what it is and that what makes it fun, but I wouldn't know what it is if I bought one from um, Diamond Art Club, so I might buy one from Diamond Art Club uh, to do after, but I think I might bring back uh, Mystery Diamond Painting because everybody loved it so much. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's get through drills and chills. Maybe I'll start another one. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below if you actually watch this video to the end because I know some people don't really care how I decorate my bullet, my bullet journal. I'll call it bullet journal my happy planner but I just want to give you fun ideas for your happy planner and do you have a happy planner do you want to start a happy planner um let me know down in the comments below uh, I hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe if you want to watch more of me then come join the happy family at Liz's this is world of gems because it's just fun and uh, my granddaughter's up so i gotta go till next time bye well folks that's it for today's video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you like please subscribe to my channel i be super tickle pink and remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever i load up a video and till next time take care everyone bye